Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by and visiting. I would love for you to become a part of the family by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. So guys, if you're interested in seeing how I created this beautiful pumpkin spice makeup look, just keep watching. So I'm starting off by just like brushing up my brows just to get them ready to use the eyebrow pencil. So this is an eyebrow pencil that I picked up from Timu. And as you guys know, I always try to leave all of my um, products that I use in a video down below. It's time to get my brows um, touched up. I hope everybody is having a good day. I am. Today is Saturday and I don't get much to do. So here I try to always go in with a brow styler and what it does is just help keep my uh, hairs in place. And I'm using this concealer. I believe it's in the color Deep. Yeah, so today is Saturday and I'm just sitting around. I'm like, I did this video yesterday, so I wasn't going to edit it so quick, but I don't have anything else to do, so I decided to go ahead and get this out of the way. So I'm just going to put this concealer on the, on the top as well, just to kind of like help define my brows. I know some people go on the top with a lighter color. But I normally try to keep it the same. Or close to my skin tone. So I'm using this ABH Nova Ring Volume 3 palette. And I will be putting pictures on the screen for you guys to follow along. The colors, the pigment uh, in this palette is amazing. So, uh, I'm going to go in and blend this out. And I'm doing the same on the other side. So this next color is an orange color. It's like a, a burnt orange. So I'm using that as an ombre going into the dark color. So I decided to go in with that lighter color orange. I'm sorry I didn't put that picture, but there's another orange in this palette and it's just a little bit lighter than the burnt orange. So here I'm going back into that first color that I put down first, and I'm trying to make the crease just a little bit more in depth. And this is a white um, concealer that I also picked up from Timu. And I'm just gonna do the same with the other side. 
going back into that, I think I kind of mixed it with that burgundy, or maybe I didn't. I thought I might have put a little bit brown on that, but maybe I did not. But I'm going back in with that burgundy color, and I'm just trying to blend it into that to make it like really seamless, so it doesn't look so harsh. And then I'm just trying to go back in with that orange. I just, I don't know, it seemed like I couldn't get that orange to pop right. And this is a yellow color that I'm going in with. I really like, I love how this look turned out. So I'm just spreading that all around what the white part and um, <clears throat> I'm also going to go in with this like yellow shimmer. I'm not sure why I didn't show that. Or did I? So I'm just trying to blend that into the yellow to make it seamless. So maybe this is where I'm going in with the shimmer, I'm not sure. Or maybe I'm just trying to emphasize the yellow. This is a face primer. It is by, um, Pour, not pour no more, but no problem or something like that. But I'll leave it down below. <clears throat> and you guys know, if you've been following me, I'm always experimenting with my makeup. So this is a custom blend makeup. I had to use a too light of a um, foundation to mix it with a, a too dark of a foundation to try to get my exact shade. And I love, if you guys don't know, I love to experiment with different makeup, not knowing how it's gonna work or turn out. So here I'm going back in with my concealer. And I usually don't put foundation up under my eyes because I normally try to go in with a concealer and I just don't want a lot of makeup to uh, go up under my eyes, cause a lot of creasing. This is another concealer. I'm just putting it, you know, a little bit here and there. And this is just gonna brighten up and lift my, uh, my eyes. It's just gonna give me like a little lift, face lift, I call it. And with this setting powder, I normally don't bake. Uh, but I do um, put setting powders um, up under my eyes and just in every place where I put concealer, I normally would go, go in with loose powder and set it. And when I finished putting this powder on, I didn't show it, but I did go in to spray my face with the setting spray. This is a contour, um, I call it contour pencil that I picked up from Timu. It's in the color Deep. One thing about this, uh, this contour pencil is that if you blend too much, it'll disappear on you. So I try not to blend it in too much. Because it will disappear. Now I'm going in with a blush. Um, 
uh, what do you call it, like a blush pencil, but I'm just using my brush to, instead of putting the thing directly on my skin, I'm using the brush. And I just got that from a Timu as well. And that is a blush. Um, oh, that blush came from that Natasha Denona that I'm holding. I am so not good with putting on certain um, highlighter. This is a mascara that I also picked up from Timu. I love the wine on this mascara. And I had to throw on my lashes. The girl had to throw on some lashes with this look. And finish it up with the lower lash mascara. And then I think I'm going to spray my... No, I got to do my lips. I'm just rushing. <laughs> So this lip pencil, I, um, I think I got it off of Amazon, I believe. And that's a new color um, lip pencil with a lip with a lipstick. And I'm going in with a brown lip gloss. Just want to see how that would look. Spray your face one more time. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did. Show me by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in my next video. Bye.